Deuteronomy 28 chapter. And the reason why I'm on Deuteronomy 28 chapter because Deuteronomy shows a very important part, a pivotal part in our life. Because Deuteronomy is a second giving of the law. And when we look at Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, we look at the blessing and the curses. The blessing is if we hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord. And the curses is if we don't listen or hearken unto the diligently voice of God. Now let's start, my friend, by saying that if you want to be blessed by God, we got to hearken unto the voice of God. God's voice is his word. Now, if, we, if we're if waiting for an audible voice from God, we don't want to get it. Because Saul heard an audible voice from God. He said, he say, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? And the reason why I present this message, because people wondering where this coronavirus came from. It came from our disobedience to God. My friend, God is strict about his word. And the Bible talk of call, started by saying in Deuteronomy 28, chapter verse 1, And it came to pass, if thou wilt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandment, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all nations of the earth. And the reason why, glory to God, that, that God still strict about his word. Because the Bible says, blessed are they that keep his commandment, that they may have right to a tree of life. And, and let me tell you this, my friend. And the reason why, some people say that God has done away with the Lord. No, he haven't. God still want us to obey his word. Because the Bible says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandment. And listen to the Bible say. The Bible say, my friend, in, in Revelation, the 22.15, hallelujah, 22.14, it say, a blessed are they that do his commandment, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. So God still want us to obey his word. He wants us to obey his law, and his law is not grievous. So it says, and it shall come to pass. What? And it shall come to pass. Coronavirus has come to pass. Why come to pass, preacher? Because we are still playing with fire. And if you play with fire, you will get burned. And the Bible says, and it came to pass. If thou wilt hearken, hearken mean to take heed. Diligently mean every day. Under the voice, God's voice, when when Elijah was in the was in the the the, the, the cave. Hallelujah! He, he said, "I heard a still small voice." If you study, let me tell you a secret. If you study God's word, hey, glory to God! Hallelujah! And the more you study God's word, it will prevent you from sinning. Because the Bible said, the word of our hid, Psalm 119, verse 11, the, the word of our hid in my heart, that it may not sin against God. So if you are a person trying to stop sinning, hey, glory to God. I know the Bible say, they no man stop, they no man sin, up, uh, um, no man sin not upon the earth. But I'm talking about habitual sin. We have the nature of sin because David said, Hallelujah. They would say, have mercy upon me, Lord, according to riches kindness. But 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 uh, 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 Paul say, O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? He said, I thank Jesus. So so we as being a people of God wondering what happened, what a mistake we have made about this coronavirus. And the result is we are not listening. Or hearkening diligently unto the voice of God. Now, when you hearken to the voice of God, these things happen to you. The blessing plan of God happened to you because we are listening, we are hearkening to the voice of God. But if you don't hearken to the voice of God, and it picked up by saying, listen to what the Bible says, my friend, when you don't hearken to the voice of God, in verse, in verse 14 of 28, hallelujah, and it say that, 
and thou shalt go aside from any of the word which I command thee this day to the right hand or the left to go after other God to serve them. Verse 15 is a pivotal and, and, and a point that I'm trying to draw the difference between God's curse, God blessing, God cursing. And they say, but it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken. I say the word hearken again. Hearken is listening to the word of God, unto the, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandment and statute, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The curses are what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be the basket of that of that store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body, the fruit of thy land, and the increase of thy kind, the flock of thy sheep. Cursed shall thou be when thou, thou comest in, and cursed shall be when thou goest out. And listen to what they say in verse 20. This is the point that I'm, I'm trying to put right now, that when you don't listen to the voice of God, hallelujah, it's a dangerous thing when you don't listen to the voice of God. And the Bible say, the Lord shall send upon thee curses, vexation, and rebuke in that thou set thy hand unto the do, unto the destroy, unto the perish quickly because the wickedness of thy doing, whereby thou hast hearkened. And he continued by saying, the Lord shall make the pestilent, what? Hallelujah, the sickness, the pestilent, hallelujah, consume thee, from off the land with a go to possess it. God is concerned about us. But are we concerned about God? God sent Jesus Christ to die on the cross. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God wants you to have everlasting life, but we gotta, we gotta listen, we gotta hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. God concerned. Hallelujah. You can't, you can't decide to do what you want to do and 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 survive on this land. You gotta get off. Yeah, get off of law of attraction. You gotta get off of Illuminati. You have to get off of Luciferian code. All these things, you are not listening to the voice of the Lord. You are listening to Lucifer voice. If you are in law of attraction, you listen to Lucifer voice. If you listen, if you are in a Mason, you listen to the Lucifer voice. If you listen to Hallelujah, Luciferian code, my friend. Why do you think these, these celebrities die? Because they listen to the voice of, of the devil. You can't listen to the voice of a devil and live upon this earth. And, and, and the Bible says, and the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm nailing sin more than blessing, because a lot of people in cursing and think they are blessed. You, you think because you have a brand new car, you are blessed. You think because you have a, a big mansion on a hill in Baltimore or, or Bowie, Maryland or California or New York or New Jersey. My friend, you, you're not blessed because of that. Blessing is when you decided to give up sin and receive the salvation of the Savior, Jesus Christ, in your life. You are blessed because you decided to say yes to Jesus and no to Satan. Because Satan is a liar. The Bible says the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The abundant life is living a life of righteousness. Living a right before God. The devil don't, don't love you. The devil hates you. And the devil trying to destroy you. That's why people don't care if they, they live or die. My friend, but they, if you die, they said of a death. And they call it a second death. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible says, verse 22, The Lord shall smite thee with consumption, tuberculosis, tri my friend, and with fever, and with inflammation, and with extreme burning, and with sword, and with blasting, and with mildew, and they will pursue thee until thou perish. What happened, my friend? Why people dying before their timing? 
And the Bible says, and, and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass, and the earth that is under thy feet shall be iron. That means that when you go out to plant, nothing happen. There going to be no rain. In in Second Chronicle, we say that I will command that there, there be no rain. I send pestilence among my people. If my people, which I call by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their ways, then I will hear from heaven and forgive their sin and heal their land. America need healing. This world need healing. The corona the coronavirus have no respect to person. I don't care if you're black, you're white, you're Puerto Rican, you're Chinese, you're gay or straight, my friend. If you're not in the will, thy will be done. Hallelujah. And the Bible say, verse 24, and I'm almost done. The Lord shall make the rain upon thy land powder and dust from heaven shall it come down upon thee until thou be destroyed. Why? The Lord shall cause thee thy enemy. Listen, the Lord shall call thee to be the enemy before thy enemy, smitten before thy enemy. Thou shalt go out one way, hallelujah, them, and, and flee seven ways before them, and thou be removed from the, all the kingdom of the earth. Now, now the reason why, listen, the reason why, listen now, we are blessed and we are cursed. The Bible say in verse 8, we are Bless the Lord shall command the blessing upon in thy storehouse and in all thy set of thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest. So God wants you to be blessed, and the devil wants you to be damned. When well, I say God wants you to be blessed, and the devil wants you to be damned. But my prayer to you today. Is the reason why we're in a situation we are, we are in? Because we forgot about the voice of God. We forgot about God's commandments. I know we're under grace and truth. But God don't want you to forget about his law. Because the law was made for, for the sinner and the unrighteous. And if you receive the Holy Ghost, the Bible says against such things no law. So God want us. As a people, to study, to show thyself approved unto God, a workman, a workwoman, need not be ashamed rightly, dividing the word of truth. So God wants us to be hearkened diligently unto the voice of the Lord.